Hey guys, and welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out with Julie. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I have just started doing some resin. Been playing with that for the last week or so. But usually I do acrylic pouring. So if you like acrylic pouring, um, as in flip cups and ring paws and swipes and um, blooms and all that kind of thing, then feel free to um, subscribe and hit that little notification bell. And if you're just starting out with resin, as I am, then um, come along for the ride. I'm having a ball here. <laughs> the resin I'm using today is, it's called Clarity and it's by Barnes. It's a two part. There's that one. And then, oh, there's this big one. There we go. This is the thick one. So it's mixed two parts of part A to one part of part B. And it is heat resistant, so you can use it on your coasters it, up to 145 degrees Celsius or centigrade, whichever way you want to look at it. So I've mixed up my resin. There it is. I did have my gloves on. I've just taken them off so I could turn my camera on. And I've measured up 240 mils. So that's in there and I've been stirring it for the last four minutes or so. So that's sitting there. Now I want to try something new. Um, I have ordered some um, sort of geode shaped coasters, but they haven't arrived yet because everything is just taking forever at the moment, isn't it, with postage? So I've got these. I'm going to use this. I've just put on a piece of cardboard just to keep the bottom as flat as possible because you'll see any kind of little wrinkle. Um, and I am using a combination of things. In acrylic pouring, I find that if you use a combination of things, you get a really good result. So I'm seeing if that will work with resin as well. So my first one is Pearl X. And uh, what are you called? Pearl X Reflex Violet. So I'm doing purples today. This one here, um, I've made that color myself. It's 50-50 phthalo blue and red violet. Now these are pigment pastes. Very, very highly concentrated. It's almost like a dye. I've got some on my finger. Look, it's like a dye. It's very strong. So 50-50 of those. And I just put in this little container here. I should put my gloves on. And I've got this beautiful, deep purple, like a dioxazine purple. So I'm going to use that. And then for a little bit of bling, I've got my pinata, pinata copper. This is a new one. This only just arrived yesterday, so I haven't used that yet. Give it a really, really, really good shake up. So that's going to go in this little cup here. This cup here is going to be just be some clear. And for my white, I have ordered some special white, you know, that does all those sort of milky, flowery, ghosty, cloudy type of effects. Because there is a white that does that. And I've ordered it, but it hasn't come yet. I thought I'd try this. In acrylic pouring, this makes beautiful, cloudy effects. So I'm going to give it a go. I have no idea if it's going to work. But hey, I'm not using a lot of product here. So if it doesn't work, then it's not a lot of stuff wasted. So that's going to be that. And we shall see what we get. Hey, I'm just going to do the three and put my gloves on. And then I'm going to divide my resin into these little cups here. So I'm, just put, I'm just going to put a little bit in each first. Sorry, I've got about a third. I'll put a third in each first. These little cups they're great for resin for little coasters. They hold 150 mils. I just got them from eBay. I think I've got a packet of 100. So I think it's just a once only use for these though, I'm afraid. Actually, I don't need much white. I'm going to do a, a, like a puddle pull with the white. So I don't need very much of that. Um, I need most of the clear, I think. And probably equal amounts of, actually I don't need very much of that dark dioxazine either because that's going to be a puddle as well. So that's not wasted. I'll keep the rest in here just in case I need something and, you know, if I need a little bit more of one particular colour, 
I can easily just make it up. So that can just sit there. This has got a working time of uh, 35 minutes. So we should be fine with the time. Um, now, I've got my little spoon. This is such a cute little jar. I actually want to get some jars like that so I can put these colours that I mix up into little jars. If I open it, I won't open it over my mould in case I drip something in it. Oh, look at that. Shimmery purple. Mmm, very nice. Now, I did get a piece of just masking tape. See, I just dropped something in there. And with the masking tape, I went over every little section of each of the coasters. Um, and it just picks up any little bit of hair or fluff or dust or anything that you may have missed with the naked eye. Okay, radio, let's do this. So I probably got maybe 50 mils of resin in there. So let's just do like a half a, a scoop. Let's see what that looks like mixed up, hey? And I've been told not to breathe in this dusty stuff, this mica powder. Actually, people said put it in first and then put your resin on top so it doesn't, you know, plume up. And I forgot to do that. <laughs> oh, look at that colour. My gosh. Wowzers. This is making me want to put um, the dark purple on the outside as well. I think I'll do that. Round the outside, round the outside. <laughs> whenever I think of that, I don't know, it's a song or something, I don't know, but whenever I think of putting it around the outside of the mould, jumps into my brain. Now, let, I will do a little bit more of this because I want to do the dark purple around the outside. Around the outside. <laughs> okay, let's just pour some of this in. I'll just put a like a, a blob like that. See how that goes first. Oh, it's very dark. Look at that. So yeah, you really don't need very much of this. It's extremely highly pigmented. I can't even see the stick through there. So I would say that's opaque already just with that tiny little bit. So let's close that up. Move him over there. What about that one? I think that's enough. I could, I can just see the stick through there. I, I want to leave it like that. I don't want to make everything the same density. I would like some transparent and some opaque. Uh, same as when I'm doing acrylic pouring. You have some opaque, some transparent, some semi-transparent, and you get the best results with that. And now, my copper. I've never used a metallic copper ink before. I just There's some purple in there. I must have dropped something in there. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's try with the ink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I was told, well, from just from watching other people, they do five drops per ounce. So that would be about right. I've got about two ounces in there. It's all sticking to the sides. Give it a really good mix. You can always add more if you, you know, you want it a little bit sort of a deeper colour. You can see you can hardly see that. You can see the stick through there. So I'm going to do another 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there we go. Put it off to the side and hopefully that should be enough. I just thought purples and copper go really pretty together. I'm still waiting for all my mica powders to arrive that I've ordered from Amazon. Amazon Prime. Still see through the stick, but... I think that's going to be really pretty. As I said, I want some transparent and some not. Okay, so don't need much of the white at all. 
just enough for three puddles really but uh, maybe I'll end up doing a double puddle we'll see okay so this is the milk paint by folk art just going to open it off to the side there it's got little crusty bits around the around the rim there and I don't want to get it into my mold um, I'm just going to actually it's very liquid it's like milk kind of smells a bit like off milk too come on out you come don't be shy I'll put a little bit in and stir it I hope it works I really don't want to be wasting all this resin and all this paint I did try this with the white pigment paste in this brand. Didn't work. Well, it didn't work for what I wanted it to do anyway. It didn't give me any effects. It kind of just still sunk. Uh, I can still see through that. I might put a little bit more in. Now, when you're working with resin, you have to limit your amount of additives that you're adding to 10%. That was like two little, two drops. Well, no, it was more than that, but it was probably, maybe it was two teaspoons. It was probably two of those. Should have measured it. So that'll be, that'll be enough. I won't add any more. Put the lid on that. Hope it works. Hope it works. Oh, well. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is do a ring of my beautiful dark purple. I hope it's purpley enough and not too blue. I might add just a touch more of the, the red. Just a little tiny, tiny drop <laughs> like that. I just make sure it's more purple, more on the reddish side than the bluish side. It's just blue and red mixed together, so you know that gives you purple. Yeah, I think that's better. It's hard to tell. It just looks dark in there, doesn't it? Okay, so I'll take the little stick out. You want to put it on there it's just looking quite looking quite blue still look at that okay um i'm going to put some more red in it i don't want blue i want purple Plop. when i mixed it it looked right let me just wipe my hands but on the side of the cup there, it's looking quite blue, isn't it? I'll have to add some more red to that. See, it looks purple in there. Then on my fingers, it looked blue. Maybe that's because this one's mixed with resin already. I, I don't know why it would change. Okay, let's be, let's just do this now, hey? Let's do it. Pour a little bit. I want to pinch that there that's why I like these paper cups because you can pinch the sides let's put a little bit in of that dark purple can't see on the inside of that Unless I put my head right over the top, but then you'll see my head. You don't want that. Okay, so there we go. I need to keep some of this purple to do my puddles. So we'll keep some of that. Is that enough? A little bit more. Put it there. I think that's enough. Just push it into all the little sides there. Still looking blue to me in this little oh in the cup. And 
not sure how much of you know it'll it'll take over i know if i was using black it would really take over so just let let's leave it there okay now the next one is going to be this and you know i probably haven't got enough of this because i'm going to fill i need to fill my little tray with this so no i don't have enough oh oh that's a pretty color I've got enough for one. Oh, all right. See, this is why I've got this extra. Let's make some more up. I better use it all. Wow, that looks so pretty. My gosh. It's quite dark, isn't it? I probably didn't need to add quite so much. So that's... For the one lot and then that's for the second lot i think that's about right I'll poke you in there so i don't breathe you in and i'm hoping that the dark purple will kind of bleed into look out see how the edges have gone that sort of blue violet sort of a color indigo indigo not violet indigo or oh, which is the more bluey one So funny how your cup warms up when you stir. I never knew resin did that until I started doing it. I thought, oh my gosh, it's hot, it's getting hot. Chemical reaction, I guess. It's looking really pretty. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Some in there. Just cover it over. Some in there. I want to make sure I've got it equal amounts. So you've gone over the black. You can have a little bit more. So that's the last of that one. Okay. Um, now what I want to do is, um, what do I want to do? This is where I'm just going to, this is, I'm just experimenting here. I'm going to put a little puddle of that purple in the middle. Just a little bit. I'm not sure how much I need. Still got some left here. Oops, you're a bit bigger, you are. Oh, look now, it looks like an eyeball. Wow, look at that. Okay, and then this is where, this is now where I put the white on. Cross your fingers for me, guys. I just need a little puddle. I'm going to go from up high. I kind of want it to push out. See if it's going to do anything. Up high, push the puddle out. Up high, whoops, it didn't go in the middle there. All right, that's all I need. Okay, now is when I'm going to put this copper on. Hopefully it's a good choice to do copper. Oh, I don't know. Let's pour some copper on and that is just going to I want the copper to push everything out to the sides. Haven't really got much there, so I'm gonna to have to just be careful on how much I use. So I need enough for all three. My white's looking as if it's doing weird things. It doesn't look as if it's right, but we won't know until we turn these out tomorrow and see what they've done. Okay, so that's all the copper gone in. Now all I've got left is this clear. And what I'm going to do is, actually before I do that, I might just torch it for some bubbles, hey? Get my bubbles out. Doing weird things. I'm going to take you down for a little bit closer now that I'm finished mixing and pouring and all of that. Let's we'll see if we can have a look at the effects that it's doing. 
see this um, milk paint, it's, I think it's like a water-based. I don't know if you're allowed to use or supposed to use uh, water-based. That um, copper ink's just gone straight to the bottom. Okay, now I've got some clear and I'm just going to equally pour the clear into the centre on all of them. Just kind of spread everything out a little bit. We'll all come back into the middle. Maybe I should be putting some little crystals in the centre. What have I got? I've got these. They're kind of a coppery gold colour. How about if I just use a little bit of that? Um, I've got a tiny little bit of clear left, so I'll just put that in there. And then one, two, three. Just kind of mix that into a paste. Not too runny. So I just want it to kind of sit in the middle. Just so there's something interesting in the middle. Let's put a little blob of each in each. Not sure where all the copper ink's gone. It was sitting on the bottom. I probably pushed it to the side now with all the clear. Okay, that's that. Just kind of give that a little bit of a, a push. Oops, I, sp I spilt. I spilt. I wonder if that matters. If I can get it out. No, I'll leave it. Okay, so I've got a little bit more clear and I'm just going to go... I don't want to put it right in the middle because that's just going to push my um, little crystals away. I'm just going to go around in a circle like that. Now you can see them. Look at that. I think everything's going to kind of Come back into the middle. It does seem to do that. I don't know if they're equal in the amounts that are in there. I've tried to get them as equal as possible. Okay, that's empty. I have got a little bit left of that purple. Can't do anything with that now, can I? Uh-uh. All right. Uh, let me just get these gloves off. And then I'll torch again. Looks very dark. I don't know where all my white's gone. The white hasn't really lightened it. Maybe from the other side. But it's really dark. That purple that I put around the outside. Very, very dark. That's, well, I've learnt something, haven't I? What's the white specks from? That's odd. Maybe that's from the milk, uh, the milk paint. Looks like I'm getting a little galaxy happening, doesn't it? Morning, everyone. I'm back. I really don't think that these coasters are going to work. Look how dark they are. I've got my little gloves on so I don't leave fingerprints. But, um, yeah, they, they're really, really dark. I obviously put way too much of that dioxazine purple paste in. I'm going to do them again and just put a tiny, tiny bit around the edge and not put any in the centre. But let's get these out anyway and have a little look. See how they've come out. Hopefully the back will be a little bit more user-friendly. They come out really well. Oh. <laughs> push that back down okay so that's it there it's very um 
galaxy looking, isn't it? I'm sorry, I'm getting way too many reflections. All right, let's have a little look. And there's also that little rim. Now, someone said to me before I take these out of the molds, I could just put a tiny little bit of resin over the top because uh, resin shrinks as it dries. So that's why you get that little rim. So that's a good idea. You know, when I'm mixing up resin for my next pour, I could just pour a little bit over the top of these and then put them aside before I actually unmold them and then I wouldn't get that little rim. Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Well, wasn't expecting that. That's pretty cute, isn't it? Definitely have to use that side. And you can see how the gold is all sunk to the bottom because you can't see it there, but it's all gone through to the bottom. So that's really pretty. But I, I do prefer to use the tops of the coaster. So as I said, I'll, I'll do this again. I'm just going to put that one there. See, this is my little display box that I bought. Just to display them for you. Let's have a little look at this one. Very similar. Very opaque. You can't see through them. Look at the side. So that was a lot of that dioxys in purple. But that white, um, yeah, I used the um, the milk paint in this one, didn't I? Yeah. It was given an interesting effect on the back there. That's for sure. It wasn't the wispy kind of look that I was hoping for, but it's still pretty. Okay, let's get the last one out. And another one, just like the other ones, very similar. I guess they make a good set, hey, which is what you want. Might give these to my daughter, Christy. She loves purple, as you all know. So I'm not going to edge them with anything because they've got this smooth round edge. And I'm still waiting for my round geode coaster molds to come in. So when they come in, um, I'll be doing lots more i've only got sort of the squarish ones and the the triangular ones so that's them there little mickey mouse ears there <laughs> i think the color was more correct when I was holding them up looking very pale down here but anyway that's them here we go all right thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you real soon for the next one okay <laughs> they're not that pale <laughs> Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Bye for now.